Hi, this is Amy and I want to show you today how to make narrated slides using free Google tools. So this should open this technique up to anyone who wants to use it because all of these tools are available completely for free and you can get them really easily. So first of all, let me show you what our finished product is going to be like. So I'm going to switch over to a presentation made by my friend and colleague Jessica Powell and I'm just going to refresh this so that you can hear that this slide has a narration. Welcome to Keeping It Classy with Google Classroom. So hopefully you heard that just now and that's making an impression on you and maybe you're thinking how the heck did Jessica do that and that's what I was thinking when I saw what she made so that's what I'm going to show you in this video today. So our first step is going to be to use Screencastify's webcam recorder to narrate our slides. Now I already have another video about how to use the Screencastify webcam recorder. So this is the URL for that video. If you don't know how to do that technique, that is your starting place. So leave this tab and this video open, open up a new tab and navigate to this short URL that I've put up on the screen for you. The next thing that we're going to do is after we make our screencast, we're going to upload that to Google Drive. So I'm going to show you that step so we make sure we're both on the same page. All right, so as you can see, I've got in front of me a webcam video that I've recorded using Screencastify. So now I'm going to go ahead and give my video a name. So I'm going to call it Webcam Video Slide 1 and uh, then I'll know what this is when I come back to it later and which slide it goes in and I'll click close and now I'm gonna click my share button I'm gonna share it on Google Drive so that's my destination for where I want to save it and I'll go ahead and click get link so for all of you teachers out there who haven't been able to use YouTube videos with your students uh, now that you can insert these videos into slides this really makes for a great teaching tool um, and also great for your students to create their presentations alright I'm gonna go ahead and copy that link and click close. So now I can close out of Screencastify. I've got my video set ready to go. So now I've navigated back over to my slides presentation and I'm going to go ahead and insert my narration which is in fact the video that I just made. So I'm going to click insert and video and I see a new option here. I see Google Drive as an option. Until recently, I could only see YouTube videos. So now, my video that I just made is right at the top. It's default sorted by last modified. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. It's going to pop into my slide. And now I'm going to right click on the video and go to video options. So now at video options, as soon as this is finished processing, I'm going to click auto play when presenting. So I'll wait a minute so I can show you what that looks like. Alright, so remember when you upload those uh, videos from Screencastify to YouTube, it can take a few minutes for them, or sorry, to Google Drive, it can take a few minutes to process. So that's what we experienced just now. <clears throat> it's been about five minutes since I made the video. Alright, so remember I right clicked on this video and I went to video options and I got this nifty pop-up over here so this is the option I'm looking for auto play when presenting okay so now I can close out of this thing at the side and what Jessica suggests is that we now make this video really small so I'll make it really small put it down there in the corner if my viewer wanted to they could open it up but they really don't need to so now let's look at how we can make sure that our participants get the presentable link that we want them to have so I'm gonna go into my file settings for my slides and go to publish to the web and now I'm going to click the publish button and OK. And now this link right here, this is the one that I want to shorten. So I just copied that one. I just right clicked on it and went to copy. And now I'm going to go to a new uh, tab and I'm going to paste that link in there so that I see my shareable slides link. All right, here it is. Now if I'm using a URL shortener like goo.gl or a bit.ly, this is the link that I now want to share with other people. Um, or I can put, put it into an email or put it on my web page. Okay, so let's see our technique work. We're going to move over to slide two where our video is embedded. 
Hi, this is Amy and I'm using this technique today to create a and as you can see we get a little tiny video down in the corner. We have a pause button down there if our viewer wants to pause that or play it and we have a voice navigated presentation and we didn't have to go out to YouTube to get it so if YouTube is not available in your district or your workplace then you can still use this technique. If you have questions about this or other things that you'd like to see videos made on please let me know in the comments to this video. I would love to receive those and make more videos so give me some great ideas like this one. A uh, big shout out to my friend and colleague Jessica Powell. Her Twitter, Twitter handle is simply edtech so please reach out to her and let her know that you appreciate this technique and thanks for watching. Have a great day.